Hey guys, this is Cloth the Dinosaur Geek here, and today I'm back with another review. So today I'll be reviewing a figure that most people don't have in their collection. It's not really one figure, it's actually four individuals. This is the David Krentz Raptor Pack. Now these dromaeosaurs aren't made to represent any specific species of dromaeosaurid. But, I'm just going to explain Dromaeosaurs as a whole. Now, Dromaeosaur, which means swi which means speedy lizard, is, is, a, is a family of theropod dinosaurs, feathered, mind you, the, and they all had wings, some actually had four wings, but they were a very advanced um, family of dinosaurs, with, which included some of the smartest dinosaurs. Not as smart as in Jurassic Park, but very smart. Now, they ranged in size from the tiny two-foot-long Microraptor to the absolutely giant Ostroraptor, Utoraptor, and Dakotaraptor, all of which were 20 feet long. Now, let's actually take a look at these figures. Now, they are extremely, extremely small. As you can see, they are just tiny. Um, they could represent a 140th scale Deinonychus or some other smaller Dromaeosaur species, maybe a young Dakotaraptor or Utoraptor. But, they are just tiny. I mean, look at them. They are like it's crazy how small they are, and yet how much detail is packed into these. These are actually 3D printed models too, so that's why there's so much detail packed into them. Now let's take a look at them one at a time. Let's let's look at this one first. Now you can see this one is in a walking pose with its wings spread out like that. And you can see, it's a pretty neat pose. You can see the heads tilted a little bit. Um, you can see all the feathering detail, the tail fan there, the wings, there's the sickle claw on the second toe, and it does have a base so that it can stand. Next, let's look at this one. This one it, um, has its wings folded in, it's pretty much just in a standing um, alert pose. You can see the right foot is lifted slightly off the ground there. But you can just see all the detail packed into these little models. And there is actually nothing inaccurate about these models at all. They are fully 100% accurate. Maybe the wings could have been a little bigger. But... I mean... They, they're just awesome and perfect. Looking at this one, this one is pretty much in the same position except its head is turned the opposite way and its tail is raised a little higher. And then also you can see this leg is actually off the ground so you know what, it's actually not in the same position, it's in a completely different position. And last but not least, this one. This one's got its head tucked down with its wings spread out and its feet are pretty much in the same place um, on both sides. But yeah, this these are just absolutely beautiful. I mean you can let's let's just take a look at the heads of these little guys. And you can just see all the detail packed into these tiny little figures. And they're all the same size. Um, but I, I will actually be painting these, so... Yeah, I will do a video on that in the, in the future. Now, you may be wondering just how big are these figures. So, let me bring out the measuring tape. Okay, so they're about... They're the same size, but... In terms of the length, we are looking at about 2 inches. In terms of the height, oops, 
in terms of the height, the highest point, which is the nape, we are looking at about a, a little under an inch. Now, for size comparison, let me bring in my previously reviewed figure on the channel, the Papo Apatosaurus. As you can see, it absolutely dwarfs these little guys. It is just massive compared to them. Next up, let's bring in... If you want these to be young Dakota Raptors, which I kind of do, then here's a creature that would live with them. The Safari Limited 2017 Feathered Tyrannosaurus. Now, this guy is huge compared to them. It is... They're both in 140th scale. Um, yeah, you can just see Tyrannosaurus can crush these little guys if it ever got a hold of them. And last but not least, let's bring in the Collecta 140th scale paleontologist. He could be killed by these guys if they got a hold of them because they're four and dromaeosaurs in a pack could actually kill a person with their sickle claws which could stab into your jugular vein. So there we go guys, that was today's look at the David Krentz dromaeosaur pack. So if you guys like, like this video and want to see more of these, you guys should check out my, my other reviews. Which, at this point, I only have the Papo Crowlophosaurus and the Papo Apatosaurus. So, you guys should check that out. But in the meantime, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.